Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scar here, bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, we return to our bridge build and we'll complete the suspension bridge. So we'll add the cables and all the different details. So let's get this episode underway. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Scarland. I hope everyone's doing well today as we start our final episode on our bridge. So we've worked pretty hard the last two weeks working on this. So the next thing we need to do is add the suspension cables that will go from here all the way up to the top. So we have two design choices. So we'll go like that. And I'm just going to add a temporary block and then go like that. So what we would do is we would remove this one and then that pattern would carry on like that. So from here, Right here off of that one, there'd be two more, two more like so, or choice B, so this would be A, and this would be B like that, and then, you know, have an additional block like that. So then that pattern would continue. So I'm, God, I'm not sure which one I like best. I think I'm gonna go with this particular one, I'm gonna go with the A first, and if you guys like B, I'll definitely come back in here and add these additional pieces of Wool. So of course right here we're using light clay, light gray I believe, yes it is, light gray wool. And that's what we'll be using for this. So we're gonna head up here and then I'm going to place block there, block and like so. And then we'll just continue this pattern as we go up. So it's just, oh, no, 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 Scar, you're making mistakes. There we go, place that. Once you get the kind of the hang of this, then it should be okay. So block then then jump and then block so i'm trying to get the trying to get the exact uh, rhythm here going here so block that and then jump and oh, no <laughs> i just i shouldn't even try to even make a rhythm i should just carefully place each block so i don't keep up all right well let's just continue along as we go there we go place that up there there i think that's good i think that's probably a good rhythm here there we go block and then that and then jump and no no i'm still messing i'm still goofing it up i was hoping i could get on this little rhythm and then just fly up here but that's clearly not gonna happen that is not gonna happen all right yeah uh, oh well so i hope everyone is enjoying their day today it's uh starting to become winter it's kind of a kind of a bummer now it's all rainy out and it's just it seems like summer is just not here long enough. Not here long enough at all. But, you know, we still had an okay summer. But, man, I can't believe it's already winter. Already time for the rain and the snow. I actually do hope there's some snow this year. We, we don't get too much snow where I live. And it's always kind of an event when it does. It's just always a little bit fun to kind of see the snow. Some people who live in uh, snowy climates are like, you think it's fun? <laughs> but when it, when it does snow around here, it is kind of fun when... We only get, you know, a couple of inches once in a while, but it's, it's always fun when it snows. It's, it's always actually entertaining to watch people try to drive in the snow because they're like, nah, nah, I got this, I got this. And then they just go flying down the hills. My old house, we used, there used to be a new road they built. And when people would try to drive in the snow, they would just go flying. It was just like this pastime for everybody now to let go and watch all the cars fly down the road. But then they put these large gates up there now. So when it snows or it's icy, they're like, nope, you're not coming through here. There we go. So everybody just has this thing. You know, they're like, oh, I got this. I got this. Well, no, 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 you don't got this. Where I live, it's very, very hilly. And when it snows, like, these roads turn into ice, and it is crazy. All right. Down like so. so I'm hoping for some snow. We haven't got too much in the last, like, two years. So I'm hoping for a little snow. I can't go sledding and all that cool stuff anymore, but it's still fun to see the snow on the trees and go up into the Columbia River Gorge with all the ice hanging off the cliffs. And it's definitely a really cool view. Definitely a really cool view. And if you follow me on the Instagram, you probably see some pictures that I'll be taking soon of all these things. There we go. I usually, I, most of the things on my Instagram are our photos, you know, just photos from around my life. Not too much in relation to, you know, the channel or gaming or Minecraft or anything like that. They're mainly just pictures that I see around. And I try to add, you know, good quality pictures. Don't don't spam the feed at all, just once in a while. There we go. 
just about done here. Then we'll have one section fully complete and we can kind of take a look at it and see how we did. There we go, perfect. And look at that, I think that's pretty good and it looks like a storm's a brewing here. Looks like a storm's a brewing. So let's just jump on over here real quick and yep, cross it over to some biome and perfect, look at that, we got it. So let me finish this side and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So we're finishing up our last section of our suspension bridge here and then we'll be just about done here. So let's just get on our rhythm again. I actually got a little bit of a rhythm going here finally. It's like in uh, GTA when you take a car in like a nice area of the vine wood. Every time the same song's playing that rhythm of the night. <laughs> and it's so funny. Every time you get in one, it's, that same song's always playing. The uh, former occupant left it on for you. So we're just flying across here now. We got the rhythm of the night going. We're just about to approach the rainy section of the world. Got this little sliver of rain falling down right here. Here we go, just about across. The tedious placing of these blocks is just about complete. Whoops, no, 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 failure. The rhythm's been broken. The rhythm has been broken. There we go, just about across. Here we go, come on, a little closer. And we will finish this part and we'll be all so very happy that this tedious process of, oh no! What the heck? What was that? Is that a spider? Oh, I forgot to mention, I think this thing's gonna double as a mob spawner. But on a positive note, it looks really cool from down here. So let me jump back up there and I'll be right back. All right, we made our climb back up and taking a look at the beautiful view from above. Isn't this awesome? Wouldn't it be cool if there was like wind swirling sounds up here or something? That would be really cool. Hey, I wonder if they're adding that to 1.7. Hmm, that's interesting. That'd be a really cool sound effect. Like when you're up in the higher ele elevations to have like a really loud swirling wind sounds. That'd be really cool. Feel like we're soaring like an eagle. Hey, that's another cool thing. They should add eagles to the extreme biomes, extreme hill biomes. That would be pretty cool. Okay, then you could go up there and find their little uh, square um, eggs. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna add some. No, what the heck? No, no, let me work up there, you horrible beast spider. Oh my gosh. All right, well, let me climb back up there one more time. And you guessed it right, we're back up at the top here at our mobs. No, there he is. There he is. Oh, I'm ready for you now, buddy. Oh, I'm ready for you. Surprise. Hey, dang it. gotcha. Ha <laughs> you lose. Okay, so we're back up here now and we're adding these little clips that kind of hold the suspension cables together. I think it adds kind of a little, little bit extra detail to the whole thing. Looks pretty nice. We'll just line up one down there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then we'll fly on over here. And let's see, we try to get on the right angle to actually attach one of these on this side. It's a bit tricky. There we go, we'll click. There we go, perfect, perfect. And then we'll just clear off the land here. Oh, I hear a clicking sound. I thought I heard a clicking sound. It's probably just chilly. <laughs> there we go, so we'll finish that up. So we'll bring another layer of scaffolding across here so we can do the same on the other side. So we'll just bring that across. There we go. Coming around. All right, we're hanging on the edge of the cliff. No, no, he should have died. He's down there. Actually, he just disappeared. Maybe he did die. He must have been floating. Oh, that's tragic. Okay, so come around here. And just about across. Isn't this awesome? Way up here at the top. I always love building way at the top like this. Back in the old days, I loved being a hermit in the, in the mines or whatever. Now I love being way up at the top. Especially building the tree farm and stuff. That was always cool being way at the top. Perfect, there we go. Great, there we go. Get that all cleaned up. There we go. Clean up our scaffolding. And then we just have a few more touches to put on it and we have just about completed this. So give me one second to clear off all the scaffolding and I'll be right back. All right, welcome down. Taking a look at our future project. We're gonna build a really cool cliff face on this side. It'll look pretty darn cool. So we're just going to build another set of those clips along here and we need to come up with a lighting solution. I still haven't found the perfect lighting for the bridge, especially to turn our tower from a mob spawner into an awesome suspension tower 
which it's currently acting as a mob spawner. So we need to come up with a cool lighting solution for the whole bridge. I just haven't quite found the perfect thing yet. So I'm just gonna continue to kind of play with it as we go along. We might readdress it later on to add something better to it, but I do need to come up with a lighting solution. If you guys have any great solutions, definitely you know how to let you know where you know where I am. You can let me know. There we go. And just adding the final bit of detail to the structure. I think this will look very, very nice. There we go. Just finish that up. Just a few more blocks, and it's always good just to add a little bit of extra detail to your building. Take a look at your whatever you're building, whatever it is. Just about when you're just about finished, give it that classic Minecraft stare and see what else you can add to it. If there's any more detail, there we go. And I thought, you know, I think we could add some more half slabs to the bottom and the tops of our structure. There we go. And if I actually had them on me, I would probably put, I would probably put, oops, let me just stick that, come on, there we go. I would, if I had them on me, I would probably put redstone torches up there, you know, like airplane, the little red flashy lights on top of buildings. I'd probably add those up there if I had them on me. There we go. And let's get a good look at this building from a distance. Here we go, just as the sun opens up into the sky. Let's turn around and voila, look at that. That looks really, really cool. What do you guys think? I think that came out excellent. Very, very cool. A lot of cool detail, really cool. I think this will be a great transition from that part of Scarland into the new land over here where we're working on the roller coaster project. A great transition and there we go. So let's jump around and see if we can see this from a few different angles. All right, here's another angle from this corner. Looking up at it, looks pretty cool. But let's see what it looks like way on the other side by the greenhouse. All right, we're over in the greenhouse now. Look at that, that looks really cool outside of the windows. Let's see what it actually looks like, you know, from the outside, not through the windows. So let's jump up on this little sand dune right here. And look at that, wow, that is really, really awesome. Well guys, this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos, and if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later, and don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. So from the surface of the water, we're going to go 141 blocks up, there we go, so let's just cruise up here, because this will be the pillar that will kind of scale everything from here, so this needs to be pretty precise. And I should have put my feather falling boots on because I do not want to die.